the dawn's early light. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof to the night that our flag was still there oh say star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Greetings graduating students in the class of 2020 and on behalf of the members of the UF Board of Trustees our distinguished faculty and our entire university community, congratulations. We are so proud of all of you who share in this momentous occasion. We have 2,664 graduating students this summer, including students from the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, and 47 states. We have graduating students from 68 countries on six continents, from Argentina to Bangladesh, Chile to Cyprus, India to Ireland, Nepal to the Philippines, and Turkey to Zimbabwe. We have a 19-year-old graduating with a BS in Public Relations and a 70-year-old graduating with a BS in Advertising. We have 235 students who have earned their UF degrees via UF Online, 151 first-generation college students, and 224 students who will proudly join other family members or multiple generations of Gators in earning their UF diplomas. Many, many congratulations to all. As a father of four grown children, I know how important this moment is for families and graduates. I congratulate and thank the family members and the friends for your support and your devotion to these graduates. Members of the class of 2020, I wish you success, happiness, and personal fulfillment in the years ahead. We at the University of Florida will always remember and care for you, and we will always cheer for you. Again, congratulations and enjoy the ceremony. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Today, we honor our 379 graduates from the colleges of UF Health and recognize your remarkable success and many achievements that have led to completing your degree in the health sciences. Even though our circumstances require a virtual ceremony, today we celebrate the many achievements you have made that have led to this milestone in your life. I want you to know that I, along with your faculty, are extremely proud of your accomplishments and grateful that you chose the University of Florida to launch your career or to pursue your interest in scientific discovery. I also congratulate the faculty who have taught you, provided outstanding mentorship, and cared for your well-being over many years of study and training. We cannot deny that these are unprecedented times for everyone across the world. As our society faces many uncertainties, people look to science for answers and they turn to healthcare professionals for exceptional treatment and compassion. You are ready to accept this responsibility in your new role and to contribute to the efforts to improve the health and well being in our communities now and long after this pandemic passes, whether that be in the patient care setting, the laboratory, or the classroom. Our graduates in this semester's classes of UF Health represent highly accomplished individuals with diverse backgrounds, interests, and expertise. What you all share, though, is an intrinsic desire to help people and to be of service to others. Graduates like Q. Lee, whose dedication to research, her passion for molecular biology, and her commitment to improving oral care make her a student and now graduate. We can all look to her for inspiration. Q graduated in May from the College of Dentistry with a DMD and today earns a PhD from the College of Medicine as part of the prestigious and demanding DMD-PhD program. 
as she strives to become a successful clinician scientist devoted to patient care, research, and teaching, we are fortunate she has chosen to stay at UF Health as a postdoc in the Department of Restorative Dental Sciences while teaching and caring for patients as a courtesy faculty member. From the College of Nursing comes another example, Bryce Foreman, who receives an accelerated bachelor's degree in nursing. As a UF student nurse leader, Bryce has exhibited initiative for learning and a remarkable passion for serving our community and also volunteering for a number of service projects. The College of Public Health and Health Professions. Many, many students have been working directly to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, among the graduate students who have deployed all over the state to conduct contact tracing for COVID-19 are summer epidemiology graduates, Amy Elliott, Isis Iskandon, Dakota Mayderry, Jacqueline Nagy, and Hunter Ponder. Dr. Priyani Siwanat is an international student with a DMV MS who received a scholarship from the Thai royal government to pursue her PhD on amphibian and fish disease research. After graduation, she will be returning to Thailand to work as an aquatic veterinarian researcher for the Thai Department of Fisheries. In addition to her academic career here in Florida, she has also become a mother of two beautiful identical twin girls. Congratulations. Lastly, Robin Pescator, who today receives a PhD in medicinal chemistry from the College of Pharmacy, began targeting macrocycli tetrapeptides at the delta opioid receptor to alleviate pain as an undergraduate student. By time she has been preparing her dissertation, Robin is now focusing on the biological side of those peptides, studying them as a potential prostate cancer therapy. What all of you have accomplished today has required commitment, years of hard work and sacrifice. Again, I applaud you all for what you've done and extend my gratitude to your families and friends whose support has helped you reach this important milestone. I also challenge you to build on what you've learned at the University of Florida to help define our future. You are leaders and innovators, full of integrity and ingenuity. Never have we needed those qualities more as we work together to form a society that is committed to knowledge, collaboration, and inclusivity, and also that strives for equality and justice. The class of 2020 will long be admired for the grace and the resilience you have demonstrated despite many obstacles. Congratulations on your accomplishments. We look forward to celebrating your continued professional and personal successes. Again, congratulations, class of 2020. Greetings, graduates of the class of 2020. I'm Anna McDaniel, Dean of the University of Florida College of Nursing. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our 2020 Summer Commencement Ceremony. On behalf of the College of Nursing, congratulations on your outstanding achievement. We applaud each of you. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused significant changes globally, nationally, and especially for the nursing profession. By the nature of our profession, Nurses must possess inherent flexibility and resilience that is integral to caring for patients in today's healthcare setting. I could not be more impressed with how you have responded, pulled together, and worked through these changes with grace, compassion, and dedication. It is a true honor to be part of the Gator nursing family, now more than ever. What a special time to commemorate your commitment to the nursing sciences, as 2020 is officially observed as the Year of the Nurse, honoring the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale's birth and recognizing nursing's dedication to improving health and wellness of patients all over the world. This is our virtual commencement ceremony with our nursing graduates earning their Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree, Doctor of Nursing Practice degree, and Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing Science degree. The university hopes to offer an opportunity for you to walk in an in-person commencement in the future, but we do not know yet when that will be. 
Regardless of our current challenges, we are proud and happy to recognize you as professional nurses and graduates of this institution. Your dedicated pursuit and successful attainment of your respective degrees will allow you to make a difference in the health and well-being of communities and beyond as future clinicians, practitioners, educators, researchers, and leaders. Indeed, the future of the profession is in your hands. I will begin today by paying tribute to all those who served in our armed forces, especially those who lost their lives or were injured in the defense of freedom. We also pay special tribute to those of you who are being commissioned at this time. We thank you for your service. As our graduates now know, a college is not just a building or a series of classrooms or scholarly papers. A college is its faculty, and we honor our graduates today. It is also fitting to express appreciation to the special group of individuals who have contributed so much to our graduates, the faculty of the University of Florida College of Nursing. I want you to know that I appreciate and thank each of you. I also extend appreciation to the very skilled and hardworking staff in our college. They are the engine that keeps our outstanding college running. Graduates, as you know, earning a degree from the University of Florida College of Nursing is not an easy process. It is, we hope, a rewarding, challenging, and growth-promoting process. But it is not an easy one. And being a nurse is not easy either. But being present at life's most significant moments is a privilege that few share. When I first visited the University of Florida over seven years ago, I sensed the pride that the faculty had in our students, graduates, and alumni. Now, after seven years as the dean, I truly share that pride. A college, regardless of the expertise of its faculty or support of its staff, in the final analysis is ultimately judged by its graduates. You are the future of professional nursing and the future of our college. The growing complexity of our healthcare system requires better educated and highly capable nursing leaders. The degrees you have worked so hard to earn have prepared you well to meet these challenges. Professional nursing will continue to change in the next decades as we apply and adapt to all we are learning through the COVID-19 pandemic. You will join your colleagues in leading that change. You will be a part of improving not only the image, but the reality of professional nursing. And I know that you will ensure that patients, families, and communities remain the central focus of your efforts. Throughout your professional careers, remember to maintain your enthusiasm and excitement for the nursing profession. Practice with a commitment to maintain and elevate the standards of the profession. Keep abreast of advances in nursing and healthcare, and continue to advance your education because learning is a lifelong endeavor. We are so inspired by all of our graduates today and the many who have preceded them and forged a path of excellence. You follow in a great legacy of Gator nurses who care, lead, and inspire. You are part of the rich tradition of Gator nursing that began in 1956. Never forget how proud we are to call you one of ours. Congratulations, too, to the family members and friends who have supported you throughout your journey. At this time, I'm honored to introduce Dr. Mary Rockwood Lane. Dr. Rockwood Lane is a professor, nurse, healing artist, painter, 
author, and a faculty associate for the Watson Caring Science Institute, an international nonprofit organization created to advance the philosophies, theories, and practices of human caring. Recently, she organized Conscious Visionary Nurses on the Edge of Evolution, a free online telesummit series that debuted this spring, inspiring nurses and nurse leaders across the world to create the future of nursing. Her enthusiasm for this work has led her to develop a unique way of blending multiple modalities and life experiences to support people in a soulful and practical way. Her intention and vocation is to assist others in leading more open, authentic, loving, creating, and fulfilling lives. She is the co-founder and director emeritus of the Shands Arts in Medicine program, where she created the first artist-in-residence program of its type in the United States. She has been published in many nursing and medical journals. She has written six books and is a recognized leader in the field. She is a core faculty within the UF Center of Spirituality and Health and serves as associate professor in the College of Nursing. Dr. Rockwood Lane, we welcome you. Hi, I'm Dr. Mary Rockwood Lane. I'm an associate professor here at the College of Nursing at the University of Florida. And I'm honored to be able to speak to you at this tremendous moment of your graduation. I want to honor you, and I want you to take a moment now to just center yourself and enjoy this experience that you're having. I want you to feel the appreciation that you have for yourself, for your family, for your friends, and for the faculty because it has been a long road to get to this moment in your life. You are on the edge of your destiny. You are here at this moment to claim yourself as a Gator nurse and go out and take on the world. Care, lead, and inspire. That's the motto of the College of Nursing. And I have great hopes that you will do just that. When I graduated from the University of Florida, I am so honored to be a Gator nurse. I remember at this moment in my life, I had inspirations, I had ambitions, I had so much enthusiasm, just where you are. And since that time where I graduated, I have realized the most powerful career destiny that I never could have imagined. And I can see it for you. One of the things that we are here at this moment is that you are stepping forth into your future. And we, you are the ones that we are waiting for. The future of nursing is so wide open and the great career of you becoming a professional. One of the most exciting things about nursing is there's so much we can do, so much. I just hosted a telesummit called Conscious Evol Evolutionary Nurses on the Edge of Evolution. I asked them to share their visions and what they saw for the future of nursing. So I ask you, what is your vision for the future of nursing? What are your aspirations? What do you see as possible? Because I truly believe you are going to be the ones that are going to make this happen. One of the things about being a professional that's so great that we have a discipline of nursing that's based on values. Values of caring, values of compassion, values of humanity. We have a covenant with humanity to serve. And that sets us apart. Nursing is a sacred and a noble profession. It is an honor to serve the roles that we do in so many capacities with patients and families. I've had the privilege of traveling all over the world, meeting nurses in Singapore, South Africa, Japan, all over the world. I've even been to Palestine and Jordan, and I've been able to see nurses and listen to their stories. And nursing is filled with stories. One of the things I want to share with you in this moment, there will come a moment in your life when you're a nurse where you will realize 
This is why you were called to nursing. In this lifetime, this is the moment you were born to be there for another human being. And as a nurse, when I've been engaged with patients, I have had so many of those moments where I've witnessed miracles with other, other human beings and the privilege of that intimacy and the sacredness of where I find myself in relationship to another human being. So I call you forth. Nursing has called you, called you through your life journey. You have been on a path that has brought you here to this moment today. And I'm gonna ask you some questions, some big questions. Who are you? You have spent the last couple years learning about the science of nursing, all the information you've needed to know to be a nurse and go out and practice. But I want you to think about who are you? Because who you are as a human being is the greatest gift you give to this profession. The uniqueness of your story, the uniqueness of who you are as a human being, that can't be taught to you, but that is your greatest gift that you offer. The other question is, where are you? You are on the edge of your destiny. You are graduating from the University of Florida College of Nursing. This is a moment you've been waiting for. Where are you? You're at the beginning and you're at an ending. And it's a very exciting place to be. And then I wanna ask you, what is it that you want? What do you want for yourself? How can you live your best life and be the nurse you were always dreamed of being? Nothing stands in your way between you and making that possible. This is an exciting moment. Feel it. Relish it. I have tremendous hope and faith that what the world needs now is who you are as a nurse. It's that simple. As you go forth into your practice, your future, your goals, I want you to remember that the most precious thing you have to offer is who you are as a human being. This is a sacred and noble profession. Welcome, welcome to this destiny. Nursing is a calling. And for me, it was one of the greatest callings of my life. I've been able to accomplish so many things that I never even imagined possible. Writing books, starting the arts and medicine program, traveling around the world with Dr. Jean Watson, teaching nurses all over the world, I never would have dreamed it. But this, this is the most important thing I wanna share with you. One thing I always did was follow what I was most passionate about. And what you're most passionate about is calling you forward. Follow your bliss. Be the best you can be and love what you do. Congratulations and thank you very much for the hard work and dedication that you have done to graduate from the College of Nursing. And may you know this is only the beginning of a wonderful and exciting life as a professional nurse. I honor you and I thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rockwood Lane, for your inspiring message. I am Dr. Versi Johnson Mallard, Associate Dean for Student Affairs, and it is now my pleasure to recognize the candidates for the conferring of degrees. Dean McDaniel, the following candidates have completed all requirements for the Doctor of Philosophy and Nursing Sciences degree. And having been recommended by the faculty of the University of Florida College of Nursing, are presented to you for the conferring of their degrees. Marion Marler Ben Dixon, Renessa Williams. On behalf of the people of the state of Florida, by the powers vested in me by the University of Florida Board of Trustees, I am pleased to confer upon you the Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing Science degree with the accompanying rights 
privileges, and responsibilities. You may now don your hood. Dean McDaniel, the following candidates have completed all requirements for the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree and having been recommended by the faculty of the University of Florida College of Nursing are presented to you for conferring of their degrees. Alexis Dang. Kara Damore. Emily Goff. Jennifer Guttery. Noreen Hack. Kristen Lapham. Claire Llewellyn, Leah Kathleen Lowe, Carrie Maddox, Scott Mercado, Sandra Palez Muncie, Courtney Perez. Catherine Prevat, Carrie Lane Stokes, Rhett Thomas, Hannah Zinman. On behalf of the people of the state of Florida, by the powers vested in me by the University of Florida Board of Trustees, I am pleased to confer upon you the Doctor of Nursing Practice degree with the accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. You may now don your hood. Dean McDaniel, the following candidates have completed all requirements for the Bachelor of Science and Nursing degree and having been recommended by the faculty of the University of Florida College of Nursing are presented to you for the conferring of their degrees. Sierra Albrecht. Nicholas Anderson. Tanya Anson. Elena Applegate. Patricia Arsic, Stephanie Ann Arcara, Angelica Argetta, Michaela Arnold, Kathleen Arthur, Michael Evan Balu. Michelle Barnard, Catherine Diane Barta, Amanda Bartholomew, Kira Benhamo, Enrique Bermudez, Nicole Jasmine Bondock. Kiana Bradley, Craig Breen, Joel Breyer, Caitlin Brubank, Ebony Joy Brown, Justin Tyler Brown, Leah Marie Brown, Patricia Elizabeth Birch, Amber Myers Burbacher, Katie Ann Burkett, Paige Kim Campbell, Alexandria Cardoso. 
Paige Carlson. Christina Castles. Nikki Castro. Mujib Chirathodi. Amy Barnes Chestnut. Kelly Comer. Jacqueline Hunter Cope. Christy Lane Joy Crow. Jennifer Culleton. Charmique Danzi. Samantha Landau Davis. Catherine Lachlan Devine. Tien Do. Molly Irene Donovan. Hannah Faith Douglas. Abra Edelston. Stephanie Ellis. Tiffany Evans Pickett. Nadine Figa. Kristen Fisher. Bryce Foreman. Taylor Frazier. Lacey Freer. Misty Fuentes. Trudy Gall. Reese Connor Gebhard. Danellis Gibbons. Stephanie Gibson. Brittany Lee Gonzalez. Miranda Elizabeth Goss. Gabrielle Elise Green. Ashley Greenwood. Abby Reinhardt Griffiths. Erica Gira. Ryan Gutmacher. Aaron Hayes. Courtney Hernandez. Chloe Ann Hirschberger. Rachel Hayden. Deborah Hoffrichter. Caitlin Marie Hogan. Grayson Mary Holmes. Danielle Elizabeth Holt. Morgan Elizabeth Howard. Braden Paige Howell. Michaela Imwani Howell. Taylor Marie Howland. Kelly Noel Huff. Keith Huffstetler. Shane Isenhart. Jordan Patrice Jackson. Morgan James. Alexis Jones. Elizabeth Junasia. Katie Ann Karras. Mina Kim. Kylie Barber Kirch. Grace Margaret Knapp. Brianna Lindsay Cornick. Lauren Kuzik. 
Victoria Lily Kramerman, Richard Todd Lemon, Kevin Lennox, Rebecca Lipman, Ty Jordan Lofquist, Hannah Rose Lorman, Michelle Macias, Mary Elizabeth Mahoney, Haley Irene Mollis, Margot Maloney, Victoria Mantel, Natalia Martins, Miranda Mayer, Brianna Joel McDonald, Giselle McGrath, Catherine Ann McInnes, Anais McKinney, Caitlin Eileen McNamara, Kelly Miller, Carlos Molano, Thadid Momin, Stephanie Moriarty, Alexandria Murray, Kyle Nettles, Gabrielle Adeline Nordman, Jeremy Paget, Renee Para, Carolyn Elizabeth Peet, Erica Victoria Pena, Fabiola Pierre Charles, Claudia Jean Polis, Mariah Rapazzo, Mallory Renee Reith, Megan Ricks, Tova Rigdon, Richard Roberts, Sarah Romer, Lauren Michelle Rowe, Giselle May Roxas, Courtney Nicole Rubel, Tiffany Salas, Brooke Danielle Schachtman, Alexandra Danielle Setrin, Haley Brooke Solomon, Lauren Alexandra Sorando, Alexandra Spence, Aaron Stokes, Morgan Swisher, Kendall Nicole Tiffany, Danielle Tron, Jessica Velasquez Perez, Caitlin Viteo, Sandra Visor, Samuel Peter Verinos, Teresa Waite. Anne Ward, Christina Warwick, Amy Wasserman, Laura Watson, Jared Arder Weeks, K. 
Callie White. Marlo Wild. Brianna Willard. Lorenzo Woods. On behalf of the people of the state of Florida, by the powers vested in me, by the University of Florida Board of Trustees, I am pleased to confer upon you the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree with the accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. You may now move your tassel. To all the graduates recognized here today, I offer you my congratulations and welcome you to the Fellowship of Educated Men and Women. You follow in the footsteps of many great Gator nurses. Continue to exhibit and live by our college's motto, as you care, lead, and inspire in all you do. My heartfelt congratulations to you all. Victorious 